Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. Today's video is continuation review in my Culture SE 3-18 Sport Cleaner and if you didn't see my previous video it was just about unboxing but in that previous video I put in the link uh, above I describe how Culture compares to Bissell Sport Cleaner. In this video I will focus just on culture, but to touch up, I would say the biggest difference is the Bissell has a rolling brush under the sprayer and vacuumer and culture doesn't and Bissell is half size of the culture. But is culture any better? Let's do this review and we'll find out. First of all, I use culture for a couple of days right now and to be honest, to conclude this review, I'm pretty happy with what it offers, but it's far from ideal and let's go through point by point so we'll find out what is not so great about culture. Saying that, I still yet to find a perfect spot cleaner on the market. Um, having quite hefty price, culture should offer twice benefit as benefit. So, to, to be honest, the Bissell uh, you can buy for probably 160, 180 Australian dollars. Culture would be close to $300 and the first disappointment is I don't see double performance in culture and I'll explain why. So it doesn't mean that Bissell is better, I'm just trying to say for value for money I cannot find either of those uh, producing benefit for money that you spend. But if you need spot cleaner I think you won't have much choice. And if it would be my choice, I would probably spend a little bit more money and go for Karcher. Now, the second disappointment is a bulkiness of the item. Not actual appliance itself, but look at this. This is the charger. My charger for my electric uh, lawnmower is smaller than this. And this is a slow charger. So I'm not sure why they did this, but you know, the charger just put aside a standalone item, but come on, this is 21st century. This is like huge charger, and I'm not sure what they tried to do, but that's too big for uh, my liking. The second biggest disappointment is either appliance itself or battery or battery life. Uh, the battery here is uh, 5 amp hour, it's a huge bulky battery. Uh, what I like about this, it shows uh, the charge state on the battery, but what I don't like about this, it takes a long time to charge. I think uh, when I unpicked this item, it was half charged, still took me two hours to get the battery full, and the life run of this battery is 20-25 minutes. That's the second biggest disappointment with the culture. I mean, it's maybe a good cleaner, but you've got literally 20 minutes of operation and then you've got three to four hour charge on this battery. And I'm not saying what it says on the manual, I just goes by what I would plan in my normal day life. And I would say I would dedicate from zero to full charge approximately four hours. That means like if you've got a couple of jobs to do and you would like to charge and keep going, it will be four hours in between operations of the of the appliance and that is not acceptable. You know, um, every phone has a fast charger. I'm not sure, I'm not saying the fast charger is great because it degrades battery faster. Maybe they optimize it for longevity, but charging four hours battery for appliance that works for 20 minutes, it's not good enough for appliance that costs $300. So that's my second negative point about uh, culture. Uh, and I think this is where negative points um, run out. You've got bulky charger, bulky battery that does not uh, uh, that does not last long time, and that's where it is. There are good points of that uh, uh, spot cleaner, and let's start with that. So before we start my review, um, many people. Uh, told me that my reviews are helpful because I show also how to assemble item. The culture came with instructions. It's not a negative point. Modern, instru modern instructions are all uh, kind of not really good. But culture came with instructions that did not tell you much how to assemble the item and how to use it. So let's quickly 
touch up what it came with. It came with a charger, it came with the battery as a separate item, it came with the nozzle like this, it came with the extraction hose and the pointy bit, here's a sprayer and extraction point, and the spot cleaner itself. And assembling is really easy. So to assemble the item, so nozzle you only use to clean in between um, challenging spots, so I won't touch on that. But to assemble item, what you do, you take the hose and there's a kind of latch at the top and you just plug it at the front here. Just kind of click it in, as it clicks in, it's done. So the front is assembled. Now. The back side of it is your battery slot, and battery is easy as well. You take the battery and slide indicator up, and as you slide it in, done. So your assembly is finished. There's not much to assemble, and this is why probably they did not provide instructions how to assemble it. And I would say that's not good enough because there's a lot of people uh, older age and they really like the step-by-step -step instructions. What they have in instructions is a barcode to scan to find an application, not good enough for old people. And second one is the pictures, how it all works. Again, not good enough for old people that really would like step-by-step -step instructions. But from my point of view, I took probably 30 seconds to assemble it and it's all good. On top, it's quite logical choice here. You can see like cavity here, and this is where two tanks come together. So the bigger tank, it's for uh, waste, and the smaller tank, it's for solution itself, and there's a top up uh, latch on top. So it's already filled with solution. So what you do, you put solution in first, and then add water. Actually, it's not a bad point of culture, but I believe the hot water does better operation um, of cleaning. So either for saving battery or for saving cost, they did not provide any heater within operation. So if you don't put warm water in a solution, uh, you will be cleaning with cold water, which your mileage may vary as you clean. What I did, I boiled up the kettle and I used cold water first and then top up with them. Board water, so my solution here is around 40 to 50 degrees, and I like cleaning with a warmer solution. Now, operation is easy uh, there's a knob that says zero, which is off, and one which is on. The moment you turn it on, it starts the suction. To activate it, you press the nozzle and it will spray solution, but suction works all the time, and then you kind of glide it out to suck out the solution that you already put on the fabric. So if you have um, something that was sold quite badly, I would suggest to pre-treat the area, that means spray before you extract, let it sit for a little bit, and then use spot cleaner. And that is actually on instruction the thing as well, but it's a good practice. Now, again, I say I'm not gonna touch Bissell, uh, uh, to compare with culture, but I believe many professional cleaners tell me that rubbing something that already stained in the fabric is not a good idea. This is why they don't recommend when someone's spilling wine or coffee on the carpet to rub it off. You need to kind of tap on it and extract. So this is, I think, where culture excels. It does not have brush that rubs it in and then sucks out. What you just do, I think I suggest if you've got tougher stain, to still pre-treat it and then, you know, use spot cleaner. Now, before I start showing how it works, I just want to say that I have a chairs that I'm cleaning here. And those are my fabric chairs. One is already clean and one I'm yet to clean. You may not see the difference. They are a similar color. But trust me, this chair last time was cleaned a year ago, and this one I just cleaned. So what is the difference? The difference is definitely in smell. I'm not sure whether, because people are sitting on it, a bit of sweat, a bit of uh, food spoilage on top of it, but the chair that is not treated, it's not stinky, but it does not smell nice. The chair I just treated, 
it's still drying a little bit darker color but it smells nice and it looks clean to me however after you clean them because they're not in a bad condition I think they approximately look the same whereas the biggest difference is in crevasses here where I can see a lot of fruit got stuck and yet I will use that nozzle where I cannot reach or just wipe it when I finish with the uh, piece of cloth now cleaner itself I would like to point out when you press that nozzle to spray it won't just spray directly on the fabric it's also will spray around so if you're cleaning the fabric area just be mindful that things around could be uh, wet as well so those are my experiences and tips for cleaning now it's a cleaning solution if you clean just with water it won't work uh, it will work but not as good you really need to chemicals to do two things the first to kill bacteria and, and germs in places that you clean and deodorize and second it's to loosen the dirt and let it extract so chemicals are important and as you might know my videos I'm trying to help people to save money and provide sometimes recipes how to make your own cleaning chemicals with the spot cleaners you cannot do this why because spot cleaning design for solution to dry out in five minutes so if you got all the time in the world you can make your own solution and please look my be so carpet cleaner for how to make your own solution but if you would like to clean and have it use it in the next hour or so you need to use their chemicals and culture in the instruction clearly says that you can use any chemicals so I put down below uh, where by my chemicals uh, conveniently chemicals from Bissell's are Bissell are cheaper so I buy on Amazon and I buy in um, there's I think 470 milliliters concentrated or 750 milliliters concentrated uh, formula I buy 750 because it's better value for money and lasts me longer time so culture not against using other chemicals I also find the culture is a little bit more expensive so I go on with Bissell chemicals they're using similar ingredients so don't worry about that now let's do a little bit of cleaning and again why i left cleaning till the end is because it will create noise and you don't see much of cleaning itself but you can see operation what i'm doing and i will be talking over noise so if you don't hear me clearly what i'll be doing i'll be turning the vacuum pump on spraying formula as a spray i go around and then I will vacuum it in and she is supposed to be clean. Let's do this and I'll come back in a second uh, if you don't hear me while I'm uh, cleaning and talking. Okay, so I'm turning it on. Again, to turn it on, you turn the knob from zero to one and spot cleaner starts. So what you kind of spray first.
chair is nice and clean right now. Let's take the extraction tank. And you may not see it, but there's a lot of dirty water here. That means the spot cleaner works well and all the dirt was inside the chair. So what I'm trying to say is, this is not a miracle machine. If you got freshly spilled uh, uh, liquid or upholstered chairs like that, it would definitely help you to clean because, again, all the dirt was inside the chair. But if you expect miracles and restore some tough stained fabrics, you may need to pre-treat or it won't work at all. So there's a purpose for this item and it won't do everything. But it's really good as a cleaner for, you know, maintenance or freshly spilled, uh, uh, I don't know, liquids or, or a splashed food. So I'm not sure if this review was helpful. If not, uh, let me know what you would like more information with and I will try to create another video. But for now, thank you for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.